okay today we'll be discussing about how to modify the splunk time picker default behavior uh, so that you can um, uh, filter your dashboard data by any of the time field you have in your index as you all know when you add a time picker in your dashboard and you select any any value in the time picker it always filter the data index data based on the underscore time field now in this tutorial we will i'll show you how to modify this behavior okay first let me set up the data and and then then we will go uh, and modify the uh, the time picker behavior uh, as as we proceed in this tutorial so to do that i created a sample csv file if you see here uh, i have created three columns here ticket number created date and resolved it um, as you may aware that um, generally when we uh, do our analysis on ticket data uh, a ticket can be generated by a system maybe service now or remedy system or something like that and it has a created date and it has a resolved date as well now there could be a situation where you want to filter your dashboard data based on created date or based on resolved date so now let me index the data first to do that i am going to settings and add data from there i am choosing the upload so this upload option we choose to upload a static file and index it now select file i am just choosing my sample data next now if you see here by default splunk picked up the underscore time field as created date see here 15 to 15 3 15 3 15 4 now let it be as it is uh if you want to index your data with another field you can choose it advance and give this time format and time fields here so for this tutorial let it be by default uh, created date mm, and then i'll show you how to filter based on the resolved date as well clicking on next now this is my default host value and index i am choosing main this main index by default comes with splunk now clicking on review so this uploaded file sample data csv csv okay main submit now if we click on searching okay so total i have nine events here so i'll just write a simplest query here Index equals to main. So if I if you see here, I just I'll just table ticket number created date and resolved it. Okay. So if you see here, I have total nine tickets, and created dates are from April, January. march and february and resolved date i put it as january february march may and june okay okay so so th th this is this is our in, uh, in initial data now let me create a dashboard and let me add a time picker over there then i'll show you what is the default behavior of it so to do that i'll just create a new dashboard under the search app create a new dashboard give the title optional demo it's fine we'll keep it by default create dashboard okay so now i'll first add the time picker so to add the time picker click on add input and click on time okay to edit this this one this is the edit option give the label time picker 
search on change that means when you select some value from here all the panels will be refreshed token means this is the value of this particular picker that means if, if we choose something this token value will be changing it's like a variable so that you can use this variable in your search so that the search will also automatically refresh based on the time so we will give a meaningful name time token and default i will let's say all time apply so this is my time picker now i will add a panel new so this is all the existing uh, splunk visualization you can say from there i will choose splunk statistic table okay so from there i will choose my time picker so that the table data will be refreshed based on this value chosen here in this time picker i will say ticket details now search string i will give index equals to main and then table ticket number created date and resolved date now i will click on add to dashboard so that the table will be added to this dashboard Okay, so if I choose something from here, let's see what's going on here. So time token dot earliest this is the time token value and time token dot latest. This is the time token value index equals to main search when change is true that's fine okay i need to i need to basically refresh this one if you edit on something splunk need a refresh of this dashboard edit load okay now let me show you the default behavior of the time picker if i let's say i am um, just only filtering on the april data okay so as i said my underscore time is always underscore time by default splunk taken the created date so that means if i fill if i choose it choose april from here only these two rows will be I will be getting none, none of the other rows but if I choose May or June none of the rows should be written because this time picker will go by created date or underscore time to do that to just depict whether it is going by underscore time I will add the underscore time as well in my query result okay so if you see this 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 and this is same now i'm choosing april from here to do that date range go to date range from here select 2018 04 04 so if you see it is basically April to last day of the April let's say 5 1 okay so I am basically querying the April month of data if I click on apply so if you see here it just filtered only these two records now to show you it is going by this uh, this particular column always let me choose June data. Okay, so from here I'll select six. Sorry, 
date range i'll select 6 here and i'll say give 7 here so only we are filtering total june, june month of data right and if you see no result found because there is no june month of data on the created date column now we will modify this behavior to tell Splunk okay you you uh, this is my f date field you filter my data based on that field to do that let me edit that dashboard so so before before we do that there are couple of things we need to know we are already passing 10 minutes so i will be continuing on next video